the glow of emergency lights, the smell of manure, and the look of defeat on the faces of first responders. When we took this video, we didn't know what exactly happened, but something about this crash just didn't feel right. That feeling confirmed when Kentucky State Police sent out this release, detailing what investigators say happened. It was nighttime, sleet in the forecast, and ice on the Tennessee River Bridge. That's when it happened, crash number one. Then it got worse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven total crashes. Six cars and 12 tractor trailers. One of them hauling cattle, now loose in the roadway. Inside one of the semis, a mother and her 18-month-old daughter. Troopers say the little girl was unbuckled, not in a car seat. And when their Freightliner truck rear-ended another, the child was thrown from the cab and then hit by a car. A 19-year-old was driving that one, and the 18-month-old died at the scene. Once the sun came up Thursday, we headed east across the bridge into Livingston County. And this is what we saw on the other side of the flashing lights, a mangled mess and dead cattle in the roadway. It is 539 on your Monday morning. We're learning new details about the deadly pile up along the I-24 Tennessee River Bridge. You may remember this happened back on February 23rd. Freezing rain covered that bridge in ice, resulting in seven wrecks involving 12 tractor trailers and six cars, all within the span of 60 minutes. We brought you live coverage from the scene that next morning and later learned an 18-month-old died in one of those crashes. The westbound lanes of I-24 were closed for nearly 12 hours as crews investigated, rounded up loose cattle, and cleared the roadway. One of the first on scene that night, this man, a local volunteer firefighter who quickly went from being a first responder to a crash victim. Michael Bynum is now at a Lexington hospital fighting for his life. Like it. The sound of an emergency, a familiar noise to first responders and their families. Normally I wake up and I hear it and I always cause him to be probably a little later to the scene because I always make him come over and give me a kiss. Kaylin Kendall is talking about her boyfriend, Michael Bynum, a lieutenant at Gilbertsville Volunteer Fire Department. I always tell him I love you, be safe, I'll see you when you get home, every time. Except that one night. Maybe this would have never happened. February 23rd. Freezing rain turns the I-24 Tennessee River Bridge into an ice rink. You can see it in this body cam video from the Marshall County Sheriff's Office. My goodness, I've never seen anything like this before. Just before midnight, Michael gets called out to a crash. Not long after that, Kaylin's phone um, starts ringing. And just... The shrill tone of his voice, I'll honestly never be able to shake it. Um, he just said, babe, I've been hit by a semi. Michael was on scene of the first crash, outside his vehicle with lights flashing. Walking back to my Tahoe to get in, I heard what sounded like a crash. I looked up and it looked to be a semi and a pickup truck collided and they had stopped. And then I heard more crashing coming from behind them. And that's when I seen the semi coming at me. First pushing him about 100 feet, then pinning him against the railing of the overpass. Nobody at the time knew I was down and hurt. And I could continue to hear car crashing. He lost his radio, remembers it flying out of his hand. But somehow his phone was fine, right there on the ground, just within reach. I tried for 10 minutes to try to get it open, and it finally opened. Where I was able to make a phone call. So I definitely had a guardian angel on the bridge with me that night, too. A guardian angel and the image of his family. My little girl and Kaylin in the background. That's the only thing I could think about to keep me fighting and to get off of that grid and get help for ourselves. So he can continue making memories like this. This is Michael and their five month old baby girl. Kaylin actually captured this video just hours before Michael was crushed by the semi. This is the two they had run up my nose. Injuries all over his body, external and internal. With the surgery scheduled nearly every day, doctors at UK Trauma Center's ICU are keeping Michael's abdomen open. 
meaning they have no. not stitched him up yet. Correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm open. Kalen still thinks about that night and what could have happened, sleeping through his pager and never getting the chance to say goodbye. It just makes me question why God chooses one person over another. And I am so, so thankful that he chose to keep my person here and to keep fighting.